working on 2015 Audi Q7 drains the battery overnight. It takes about three to four days to drain the battery and we're going to find out what's going on with it. Stay put. This is what we need. Let's get that. Yep. Anything else? No. Come, Max. You want to help me? You want to help me? Come, let's go. Vantage Pro. Stamp on. And we're going to go... Graph meter. Amp internal, right there. Right there. Right there. I need it hooked up. And a negative battery terminal in between. Ignore that. This is negative there. It's 570 amp, 5.70. 6 amp draw, raise the battery overnight. My radio is on, I turn it off. And we're going to lock the car. Lock the car. Now it's locked. And we're gonna wait two hours for all the system to go to sleep, all the computers. When you open the door, do not pull the handle. Just pull it right there. Okay, I'm back after two and a half hours. I did give him a little extra time. I'll find out now what's going on. Oh, so we got 0 0.13 amp. Ignore the negative, the minus sign. So let's check. Let's do this. Let's change some settings. One hundred. Hundred and seven milliamp. So what I'm using here is amp hood to check the amperage. And we're gonna go across across the fuse. I'm gonna turn it on. It's a standard. We're gonna set the value for five amp. We're gonna check. Nope. That's set. This one I'm using. That's good. That's good. That's good. You can check all the five amps. It's fine. That's good. That's good. Now we're gonna go to 10 amp. I'm gonna change the value to 10. Up. Oh, hold it. 10 amp fuse. That's good. That's good. 
Let's do 25. That's good. That's 25. Good. 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 I'm gonna change it to 30. That's good. That's good. 35 we don't have. Max. Oh, we got it. 0 0.11 amp draw. The 10 amp is good. So we got 0 0.11 amp draw on the fuse. Let's see what that fuse is. Fuse number 10. Fuse number 10. I don't know if you can see it right here, that's number 10. I'm going to I'm going to check what's number 10. I found out that this 30 amp fuse it's for this is a fuse panel B, SB10, and then 30 amp fuse supplies voltage to access start control module. J518 and ignition switch E15. Right there, that's ignition switch. Then I want to disconnect the ignition switch to see if the voltage drops. Nothing happened. And then I found out this box. What's this box? Some kind of alarm, remote start, whatever. Then I disconnect that. Voltage did not drop. And then I found more boxes right there so now there is more boxes some kind of alarm won't start so i'm going to disconnect this box but before that i did disconnect the ignition switch drawing still there then this is the access module. Then I disconnect that, nothing happened. I'm going to disconnect the, uh, whatever it is, this alarm system. We're gonna see out. Up, oh, that's it. It dropped to 33, 34 milliamp. So this was causing the battery drain overnight. That's it. That's the problem. Right there. Now it's disconnected. And drop down to... Let me see. Four milliamp, ten milliamp. So very, very good. That we found the problem. And allowed to draw it forty to fifty milliamp on our this. Forty is the best. So we're done with this car. It's just now I gotta put everything back. Okay, this is the next day and I'm just confirming if everything is good because 0 .0 0 0.0.1 amp okay we're gonna change the uh, let's go 200 milliamps what well, that comes to that comes to 11 7 20 milliamps so this is good confirm fixed 